Today we are going to discuss aspirin poisoning. Aspirin is also known as ASA or acetyl salicylate acid. It is used for pain, aches and pyrexia. The signs and symptoms include giddiness, tinnitus. You need to remember this. It is the most specific sign and symptom. Then comes edema of face and eyelid, skin rashes, flushing of skin, cyanosis, dyspnea, pyrexia. It may also irritate the GIT mucosa, nausea and vomiting. There may be hematemesis, there may be hemorrhage which may prove fatal in the end, there may be hypothrombinemia, there may be hyperventilation, then it will lead to respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis in the later stage at very high doses and then albuminemia and albuminuria. We also need to know that the CNS uh, changes are known as salicylate gags, restlessness, hallucinations and convulsions. There may be acetone breath that can be confused with the diabetic coma. So we need to differentiate these two conditions. The fatal dose is 5 to 10 grams and the fatal period is from few minutes to several hours. The treatment will include gastric lavage. The gastric lavage is done with uh, warm water and or 5% solution of sodium bicarbonate. It may be done by forced alkaline diuresis. It may be done by peritoneal dialysis, hemodialysis. It may be done by exchange transfusion. It may be done by balancing the electrolytes, especially potassium, and giving IV fluids. And blood or platelet transfusions and obviously vitamin K because of bleeding. The postmortem changes will include uh, particles of aspirin in the gastric mucosa and the GIT will be irritated and there will be particular hemorrhages, hypoprothrombinemia. One thing that you need to know is pulmonary uh, embolus, uh, pulmonary edema. The medical legal significance is mostly due to overdose that may be um, accidental. Then the most important thing we need to know in aspirin poisoning is rice syndrome. Rice syndrome is when you take aspirin mostly in children. Uh, you take aspirin during a viral infection mostly uh, influenza or chicken pox. It is uh, comprised of two stages, stage one and two. The stage one will include lethargy, and the stage two will uh, be consisting of sluggish pupillary reaction. We also need to know that first the person enters coma, and then there would be a different progression progressive stages of coma. For example, there will be decorticate posture, then there will be decerebrate rigidity, and then the pupillary reaction will stop until the person, person assumes a flaccid posture.